Hi Star Wars fans, welcome back to the Hyperspace Database. I'm Jonesy the Mandalorian, your host here with today's topic. The Hard Cell Class Transport. The Hard Cell Transport, or Techno Union Starship, was a light capital ship developed prior to the Clone Wars, and was a transport used by both the Techno Union and the Intergalactic Banking Clan. The Hard Cell was 722 feet long and 279 feet wide. It had a max boosted takeoff speed of 2,485 miles per hour but its cruising speed was 497 miles per hour. It also had a Class 1 hyperdrive with a backup Class 8. The hard cell transport was among many other common transports throughout the galaxy, being designed as a cargo hauler and passenger transport before the Clone Wars. It served in both capacities for many years, and being a part of the Techno Union means that it was a valuable member of their expansive merchant fleet, though it came with several, let's say, less than appealing design qualities to those outside of the organization. For example, the ships were made to exit a planet's atmosphere very rapidly, and the resulting engine wash from its large thruster engines decimated many local environments. It was also very loud in atmosphere, and the ship was incredibly fuel inefficient, consuming massive amounts of fuel in its planetary takeoffs. These ships were some of the most popular among the leaders of the Techno Union, who were largely of the Skakoan species, like their leader Watt Tambor. Because of this, many of the hard cell ships possessed artificial atmosphere generators on board the ships, and constantly would pump out methane gas to match the environment on the Skako and homeworld. Skako. As the ship was originally designed to be a transport, that was the primary function that it served at the beginning of the Clone Wars, at the Battle for Geonosis. Around 286 hard cells were present when the battle began, and they were rumored to have deployed around 4,100 droid hailfire tanks to the battlefield. That is, before the CIS forces retreated off-world. Over a hundred of these hard cell ships were destroyed by Republic ships before they could make it off the planet. Though one of them, dubbed the Foreman's Labor, managed to break through the Republic blockade outside the asteroid fields surrounding the planet, and make the jump to hyperspace. The hard cell is an interesting ship in that it lands in the vertical upright position, whereas when it travels through space, it flies in the horizontal position. Like the Slave One and other ships of that nature, the ship possessed internal artificial gravity generators that allowed the crew to orient themselves despite the ship being in the wrong orientation. Since the hard cell transport was not designed for combat, it could really only serve in the transport role. However, as the Clone Wars went on, the CIS needed to be able to use these ships to transport troops and vehicles to other worlds, so the Techno Union refitted the ship to be battle ready. This battle refit hard cell had an improved attack range and was modified to be able to equip various forms of weaponry to its standard laser cannons, as well as beefing up the deflector shields and improving its sensor systems in the command module. Watt Tambor owned one of these modified hard cells, though his ship was modified even further with enhanced deflector shields and an advanced hyperdrive computer, which could calculate jump coordinates in seconds, allowing the Skakoan leader to safely retreat before the Republic could capture him at Geonosis. While Watt Tambor was able to escape, many of the hard cell ships did not, especially when Anakin Skywalker pointed out the weak point of the ship's fuel reserves and instructed the clone pilots to shoot right above the exposed fuel cells, which caused a rupture that led to the igniting of the fuel and a chain of explosions that destroyed the ship. Besides appearing in the movie Attack of the Clones, the hard cell makes appearances in several Star Wars video games. It can be seen in the classic Battlefront video game on the planet Geonosis on the Spire map, behind the main hangar for the droid army. You can get a small taste of just how large the hard cell is by looking at the battle droids that are running around the base of the craft, and how many were on the planet by seeing many of them escaping to atmosphere in the background. The hard cell is also seen in the newer EA Battlefront 2 game, in the Geonosis DLC, where the player is tasked with taking down one of the behemoth transports with an ATTE walker. The Techno Union hard cell transport served as one of the primary means of transporting troops and vehicles for the CIS at the start of the Clone Wars, and with its upgraded battle refit model, was a force to be reckoned with should any force decide to stand in its way. Curious to know more about great Star Wars topics just like this one? Be sure to check out my other videos, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and the bell to be notified every time I publish a new video. Be sure to chat with me in the comments too, because I really like talking to you. Super special shout out to my Gold Captain level Patreon supporters, Nick Sutphin, Miss2003, and Matthew Scott. Your support is incredibly appreciated and you keep the show running. Thank you very, very much. Be sure to check out my other videos, and if you want to know more, you can follow the show on social media for more news and channel updates. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.